Well, here's my Strum assault boat the Germans used. Uh, they used these fairly early in the war. Um, the Dragon kit is really, it's simple. It's uh, a nice kit as far as everything else goes. The, the only uh, thing that you really have to put together with any detail is the motor here. And I did a little extra from looking at reference and I added a few of the uh, lines here and just kind of gadgeted it, it up as we say. So, but you know, these, these kind of builds are fun. They, uh, they're not so complex. So you have a lot of fun, you know, just messing around with a small area or a small part just to have some fun since the build is not that complex. Um, the figure comes with one figure and he's actually pretty decent. He's painting in acrylics and uh, came out pretty good. The whole boat is painted in acrylics. Um, give it different coats of like a field gray color that I did starting from dark to light and then these uh, I guess there it's to protect the boat sides from hitting docks or whatever and uh, I painted those just a little different color and then I really went in on the floor and uh, did a lot of weathering with oils and a little bit of pastels in there needed to make it look kind of beat up and uh, worn from guys on it um, but yeah that's the boat and then the base is just a big plastic box I had and I can't remember where this one came from but whenever I see black plastic boxes or boxes like this man they they end up becoming bases for scenes, dioramas, vignettes, whatever. So the whole thing was was put as into a piece of styrofoam inside this box. And then, so that way it gave it some depth, I could set the boat in. Um, so the styrofoam, everything, I just kind of carved it out because I knew this was gonna be filled with the Envirotex A and B clear epoxy. So, um, once the boat was painted completely, I airbrushed the styrofoam. There's a little bit of styrofoam over here for the, the shoreline and static grass was put on that. And this is a, a longer grass that I have just glued into there. And once that was all dry and done, I airbrushed the static grass in this with a green color and then under the water kind of gave it like a brownish um, spray of acrylic paint just to have a little bit of a color in there and then once that was done I just mixed up some of the two-part clear epoxy and I mixed a little bit of um, that brownish paint it's like a, it's like a brown ochre, yellow ochre, ochre, brown color. I mean, you, you can get away with all kinds of colors for water, from olive to brown um, to yellows. It just depends on the soil or whatever the environment is in, in the area you're modeling. Um, so then I poured that in, let that dry. It's clear, perfect <laughs> looking lake or river without any movement. Here's the uh, Liquitex Gloss Heavy Gel, and it's just a, just a, looks like a, like a, I don't even call it a paste. It's like a paste, and I just brush it on to add the, the ripples and waves. If you want heavy waves, you do it thicker. And then after that dried, I just put on some of the tips a little bit of white artist oil to give it the uh, foamy look 
on the tips of the waves. So it really gives it the life that he's in the water, there's some movement. He's just come up on the shore to pick up a crew or they just uh, got off. I, I wanted to put a whole crew in here of guys and that's where I, I lost steam. Uh, not to say one day I can't do it. Oh, one day I can add some figures in there, come running out of it is what I'd like to do. Or else just somebody here talking to this guy maybe. Um, but, you know, once you lose steam on a project, it's hard to get back on some of them. But I, I really, this one, it just looks cool. I always, I wanted to do a boat in water and I've done a few things, but this was the one that I really, I really like this one. So it came out pretty cool. Um, the motor just painted black first and then airbrushed just silver acrylic paint over it and then started weathering it with washes and uh, spray it's all sprayed flat black afterwards uh, it, shiny 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 large shiny things in 135th scale just start looking toyish so it's it's okay to to have flat silver it actually looks I think looks better so, but that's my strewn boat and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content.